guys, it's Wes from Aero Media here. Got a little uh, trick tip video for you on how to film, you know, the dankest follow runs you can. So what you're gonna need, you need a mount. This is a Delkin 3 suction mount doohickey. You can get it for uh, I think 100 bucks on Amazon. It also comes in the two suction mount only, but I prefer the third for extra stability. And uh, if you don't have that much to spend, you can always do the uh, jacket and duct tape method. All right, once you got your uh, mount set up, the lower you have it, the faster it's gonna look. So mount it as low as you can. That it'll be as safe as it can be. But uh, for lenses, you're gonna want a wide angle or a fisheye. Fisheyes make it look stupid fast, but you have to get really close and they're not the best quality. So stick with the, a wide angle. This is a Tokina 11 to 16. Uh, Sigma 10 to 20 is also a really good uh, good lens. And if you do, get an external mic because uh, extra audio makes your, your video sound super dang. So now go to your lens and you want to switch it to manual focus and then focus it to infinity. If you have a mic, you want to turn it on and put the high pass filter on too. And depending on how loud your camera settings are, you want to change it to negative 10 decibels. All right. Now that you got uh, your camera mount set up and everything, now you want to go in and check your, your, your camera settings. So first off, you want to make sure that your movie recording size is set to 1080, uh, 24 frames a second. Turn down your, your recording level for your mic to somewhat of a low level so that noise level isn't absolutely devastating when you go back and play your, play your clip. So once you've done that, you, next thing you want to do is make sure you have a low shutter speed. And a low shutter speed would be between like 1 47th or 1 100th. Ideally, you want it to be double what your frame rate is. So in this case, it would be 1 40th is what the camera allows us to do. You know, anything under 1 100th will give you some nice motion blur, which makes everything look like it's going super fast. Next, you want to make sure that your Aperture is pretty high. Even though we have already set the lens to infinity, this will just make sure that everything with that small aperture will definitely be in focus. Finally, you want to check your ISO and you want to set that to auto. What auto ISO does is it allows you, when you drive through shadows and back into sunlight constantly, it'll the camera will auto expose for you so that you won't get um, underexposed or, over, or overexposed shots. And yeah, that's about it. I'll check you guys in post. Welcome back to the last part of this video. So what you want to do is import your clips and a song into your favorite editing program. Mine is Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, create a new comp, blah de blah de blah. And now the first thing you want to do is go to each of your clips and you want to turn down your volume because the wind noise is going to be pretty damn high. So negative 30 is generally what I do. Um, it still leaves room for some background wind noise, which is still good. So. You know, it lets, it kind of gives you that feel of riding with the rider. So once you do that, you can basically go in and edit them however you want, you know. Uh, make them as long, as as short as you want. And I uh, did not mean to do that. So, yeah, basically, once you got them trimmed down, just give it a listen, throw in your song, and render it out. Because... That's what it's going to look like, and it'll be a super sick video. And that's about it, guys. Uh, let me know how I did. Thanks for watching. Peace out.